Hello everyone. Today we will learn how to embed screen flow in lightning page. Whoever has missed my previous session, please see the link from the description. Please subscribe my channel to get the latest notification. My channel name is Easy Coding with Shantanu. Tip for today. Uh, as you know, currently we can access recycle bin in Salesforce Lightning experience. Initially it was not there, now Salesforce is included. So you can access recycle bin in Salesforce Lightning experience. So we can restore or permanently delete the records from the recycle bin from Salesforce Lightning. Today's agenda is that how to embed screen flow in Lightning page. Lightning page means how to embed the screen flow in Lightning app page or Lightning home page or Lightning record page. How to pass record ID to flow from Lightning record page. Then we will uh, see some demo or that how to get the record ID to flow from Lightning record page. Then we will discuss some questionnaires. Then we will provide you some exercise. So please let me know if you will have any difficulty during uh, your whenever you have done the exercises. Now, so what is the process to embed the screen flow in lightning page? It's very simple. Open any lightning app builder. Then uh, drag the flow component and select the particular flow. Then select flow layout. Maximum you can select two columns layout as of now. Then save and activate the page. Another process is also there. If you if you want to place the flow component in your Lightning record page, you can open the record directly and from the record, you will just click the setup icon and from then after clicking the setup icon, you will get an option called edit page. So after clicking on the edit page, you can go to the other Lightning app builder for the particular Lightning record page. We will see in the demo. Remember, screen flow cannot run in the canvas of the app builder. So whenever you will select any flow in the app builder, you will not be able to get the output in the app builder after saving and activate the page and when the page will be loaded, at that point you will be able to see the latest result from the flow. This just uh, looks like, so this is the lightning app builder for lightning record page. So I have opened the lightning record page of the contact record, then just I dragged at the flow component let's assume that in the right side of the page and after dragging the flow component I have to select the screen flow here account creation screen flow let's assume that then I need to select that the respective layout we will see in the demo now how to pass record id to flow in lightning record page it's very simple first in the flow in the screen flow we have to declare the variable named as record id and that type of the variable should be input. So that variable will take the record ID from the Lightning record page. Now after selecting the respective flow in the Lightning record page, please check the checkbox named pass record ID into this variable. So whenever you will select any screen flow and that flow, if, if that flow is having that the respective input variable and if you want to pass the record ID from the current record where the Lightning record page has, at that point, you can select that the pass record ID into this variable just in, in the image I have mentioned here. So whenever you will select the pass record ID into this variable, then the March field record.id will be automatically come here. So in show account information from contact in that flow, the record ID I have declared as the input variable. And whenever I will select this one, that, that, that March option will be available automatically. And after that, uh, the same same action we need to take that is the save and activate the page. Let's see in the demo. Before going to see uh, in the in the lightning record page, just I want to open that the flow. So already I have created on flow named is that show account information from contact. So that flow I have created and I have demonstrated in the session called 
how to call uh, flow from quick action you can visit that session and you will be able to understand how we have built the flow so now just i am going through that the flow so this is the flow i have created so the responsible or the task of the flow is that to show the account information from the contact record this is the screen flow so we have to pass the record id of the contact and after getting the contact record id i need to get that the respective account id whenever i will get the account id i need to pick up the account details and then i need to show the those those account details in the screen so here you can see in the get contact i have selected the object as contact and then just the, the condition requirement is that field id equals to record id so this record id actually i have declared as the input variable so if i go to that record id variable here so this is the record id variable i have created you can see uh, that the available for input that the checkbox is checked and the data type is text because it contains that the respective salesforce record id and after that whenever i will get the contact record and then i will just query the respective account id respective uh, <coughs> account details using the account id getting from the previous step and then i will show all the information all the required information just like account name account number and type in the screen component now let's see how to call that flow from lightning record page so there are two options here you can so i want to place that the screen flow in the lightning record page so there are two options one is that you can go to directly in the app builder so here you can see that the standard lightning record page is the contact record page so whenever you, whenever you will click on contact record page you can able to add the flow in the lightning record page if we not able to uh, uh, see that the page here don't don't worry just go to the respective contact record let's say i will open the sales application then go to contact so this is the record uh, the contact record right so if you are not able to get that the lightning record page here just you will open any contact record now click the setup icon and then click on edit page so the same contact record page will open from the contact record as well and this process is very easy than the previous step so remember thing there are two options you will get that the respective record page on is you can get from lightning app builder if you not able to see here just go to any record and click on that the setup icon and edit page so i have opened the contact record i have clicked on the edit page now i need to select the flow component here so drag the flow component from the left side i want to place this flow component in the right side of the page that's why i have dragged the component here now my <coughs> screen flow name is that sorry uh, the name is that so account information from contact so that is that is my flow name so here you can see pass record id into this variable so already i have told you this record id is the input variable so now we have to send the record id into this variable so this record id is nothing but the contact id because i have placed this component in the contact record now you can select that the two column layout so you can have maximum two columns layout in the line need record page i am not changing as of now now save it okay so remember one thing already i have told you you cannot see the output in the app builder because uh, this cannot be uh, visible in the in the app builder okay this just 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 remember this thing okay because flow does not run in the canvas and whenever if you will if you will save the first time that the activation screen will automatically come it if it's not then just click on activation and by clicking on the activation you can assign the respective record page in three os one is for all default another one is for app default and last one is the app record type and profile based 
so i can already i have assigned this record page in the app default so if any contact record will be open in the sales application that line record page uh, will be open automatically if you open the service page you will not be able to see that flow if you sorry if you open the service application you will not be able to see the flow because this lightning record page is assigned only for sales application let's go back to that the contact record page okay done so this is our flow so the, the respective this is the this is the account account name so the respective account name account number account type will be automatically picked up using the screen flow that means all the process are working fine from the line need record page to flow so in this way you can embed screen flow in the lightning page let's go back to the slide now we we'll discuss some question as first question is that can we call auto launch flow from lightning record page i know uh, uh, that the auto launch auto launch flow session is pending in next ongoing sessions we will discuss about the auto launch flow so for currently we cannot call auto launch flow from lightning record page always we can call the screen flow from lightning record page remember this thing second can we send record id of the current record from the lightning record page to flow yes already we have seen how to pass the record id of the current record from the lightning record page to flow next is the exercises so this exercise is for you just for same what i have seen uh, what we have we have just now seen uh, to show the account information from the contact record right the similar way you have to create the flow from the case record from the case record page or you have to call the flow from the case record page the use case is that show the following account details that's account name account number and type from the case record when user will open the case record the account information will be available in the right side of the lightning record page so please build this flow please call the respective screen flow from the case lightning record page and just let me know if you'll find any difficulty thank you thank you everyone for joining this session you can reach my uh, you can reach me in my social profile linkedin or in twitter or you can reach me directly in my website or in my mail id again thanks for watching please subscribe my channel easy coding with shantanu bye